So welcome back to Bird's Book Corner. Today's video is going to be all about my March goals and just how different they are from February, seeing as I probably, no, I know I didn't hit all of my February goals at all, so I want to show you guys how I'm approaching those. I have been using the Save the Cat Beats, as you guys know, and I am loving it. And so for March, my main goal is to pretty much do a read through and get this book ready for edits since I should be if timeline sticks the right way I should be done either before March or on the first Monday of March so what we are looking at here this is my beat that I'm keeping track of I have the dates here that I write each beat um, they're color coordinated because I downloaded and printed off a PDF that had color co coordinated um, acts on the pages and so I color coordinated this along with that PDF and then if it's finished I just put a Y just so that I can remind myself and see that it's done and then over here I have the chapter that each beat takes place in this helps me because I can visually see where I am beats wise what act I'm in how close I am to finishing an act and just where I think I need to go so I can kind of plan my writing trips from there. This is another spreadsheet that I'm using and this is my word counts and I'm breaking it up into sections. This section right here is all act one so it's highlighted in the blue as the act one on my other sheet but I put the dates that I write the chapters and how many words the chapters are. This way I can see Visually, when it comes to editing and reading through, I can see just what I need to do. And then the Bs just tell me that it's a beat. This is to tell me, like, to look at the average word counts and see do I need to change anything or anything like that. This is Act 2, which is where I'm currently working. And I've got nine chapters written here. And so at the end, when I get all of Act 2 written, I'll do the same thing that I did over here. I'll tally up all of these and put them down in the bottom, wherever that's going to be. Um so that I know how many words each um, act is, I guess. And then over here will be Act 3, just the same. It'll, it'll be green, and I have my key over here that you can't see. But this is to help me know roughly how many words each chapter is and just where I'm lacking in things and when it comes to editing and reading and revising. This is my favorite spreadsheet of all of them that I've created for this. This is my chapter map. And basically, it's my plan to writing. So I have all of the um, beats right in here. Each beat with the chapter next to it is in the same color that it is in the first one. Um, each act is its own column. And then these are what I'm calling the filler chapters. These are just the extra detail chapters that I need to throw in. Um, and this is just a loose map. I've added... I want to say four more chapters into this since I actually created this. Everything that's written in red is written chapters. Everything in black is to be written. And eventually when it comes time to editing, chapters that I do read through and edit are going to be green so that I know that those are ready to go and for the next. And then each chapter has their own, or not each chapter, each act has their own column. And I still have my key over here for the colors as well as the key for the colors of the typing to tell me what is what. This is my absolute favorite spreadsheet and my goal for March is to continue to use these and possibly for more stories. After all of that, with all of those spreadsheets, I do want to continue to use those for this story, but I also want to use those while I edit as well. I'm going to, you know, kind of like change the color of the font, change things up as I edit and read through and do all this other stuff. That way I kind of have a better sense of what I've done. So when I go, do go through and I edit in March, which is my big goal for March, I want to um, know what I've read through, know what I've edited, all that stuff. And all three of those spreadsheets are going to help me with that. So with those spreadsheets, my main goal is to let my book set in March. Whether I edit or read through in March, which I, my goal is to read through in the last half of March, or I wait until August, or August, April, I mean. Um, I still have those. I do still want to use those spreadsheets even through my editing. That way I can keep track of what I need. And if I need to add in, if I need to add in 
more chapters or anything like that, I can add them in on my chapter map and just kind of go through and just all of that stuff and work with those. Another goal that I have in March is to do more reading because when I get into writing, I just get into the writing mode and I focus on that and I can't read. And so in March, I want to read and I'm not going to give myself, you know, categories to read because that failed for February. Let me tell you that failed. Um, I just kind of like throw myself into reading whatever and that's what I want to do. I want to throw myself into reading again, reading lots of different things, anything I want just so that I can get more reading vlogs out, more reading content, my update my bookstagram again, all of that stuff I want to do. Another goal for March is to go through my books and declutter anything that I've not read or I know I will not read because I am a hoarder of books. If I have them, I don't want to let them go, even if I don't like them and or I can't read them. I am a hoarder. I hoard them. So my goal is to go through my books and decide what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to put in my yard sale this summer. That way I have the books already figured out. They're not on my shelf and I'm not fighting for space because even though I already did a organize my bookshelf with me, my books have grown immensely and my bookshelf is overrun again. So I need to go through my books and get a new space. <laughs> hear any noises in the background in this video it's my two-year-old she's home with me she doesn't want to do quiet time right now and she wants to play on the couch so she's talking behind me but another goal that I want to do in March is I also want to find a new organizational way to organize my bookshelf now I have shelves with like big books like tall books I have a shelf of just paranormal romance I have a shelf that's mainly historical with like modern all mixed in. I want to get my books better organized. I want to find a better organizing system, whether it's color, co color coding, you know, alphabetizing something. I want to better organize my books so that I'm not all over the place looking for these books. Um, and I just want to be able to go to my bookshelf, say, okay, I want to read this type of book and go straight to that shelf. One last goal is to, I want to do like a read through slash edit kind of video and I might do a test run on this. I want to see how I'm going to do it and all of that. So what I think I'm going to do is I want to, as my goal, take one of my stories from Wattpad and, you know, copy and paste all the parts from Wattpad onto my computer and go through a read through, edit, and do a vlog like that where I'm reading through and editing and possibly even revising this book. And, um, taking you guys along with me with that because I do want to start doing that. So if that works and that video actually comes out really good and I like it, then my goal is to do more of those as well. This is it for my March goals. I am so sorry that they were all over the place because normally I would sit down and write down these goals and I just haven't done it yet. And I just realized like we're literally one week away from the end of the month and I have no goals filmed, no goals written down. No goals selected just because I've been so, you know, roadblocked into this writing that I've been doing using Save the Cat. So I'm sorry about that. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and comment down below what your March goals are for reading, writing, or just in general. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.